in Changa. <laughs> I want to keep doing this all video. I want to keep doing this. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm going to be alone in my lap. <laughs> y'all moved her to pieces. Y'all see what you did? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The older we get, the more gassy we get. Sorry, that wasn't late like. Absolutely not. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Hello there, darling. Welcome back to my grand chitchens. Uh, channel. His name's Big Eye Appetites. I'm here with my sister, Clarice. Clarence. Oh no, sorry, Prudence. Prudence. I get a little confused. I got the I got the mansions. Um. Anywho, and some dancers. <laughs> anyway, you want to say hello, sweet darling? Hi. Right. Hello. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. It sure it's is. It's a big honor I'll... to be here. His grand kitchen is Steven Sushi. So if y'all want to follow her grand kitchen, uh, his channel's going to be in the description box below. I'm Luann. This is my girlfriend Prudence. We met at uh, the nursing home and we've just been the bestest of friends ever since. You want to say something, darling? Welcome back. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely, darling. You want to tell them uh, what we got here going? Well, this is our first time having Mexican Me food. Mexicans, right? Mexican food. Mexican food. Yeah. I think I think it's a little bit of roadkill or something. A little, bit, a little bit of raccoon. You know, we love the coons. I can see that. The raccoons. We just love it. We just absolutely love it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. It smells like roadkill too, but I think the Mexicans call this a uh, chilaverde and homemade tortillas. Chilaverde. Chilaverde. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna get started now because we are still loving. <laughs> It's a BGA Halloween. <laughs> My God! Ah, you have arrived. What? Heavenly Father, I ask that you bless this meal. The hands are prepared to me. You provide for those going without. You will bless, protect, and provide for the BGA crew. In your precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, darling. Uh, do you want to show me how to eat this? Since well, um, you're more familiar with the Mexicans. You have a lot of that in you, don't you, darling? <laughs> so, you grab this, and I think you just blot your face with it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Tastes getting a little sweaty. The sweat. Mm -hmm. Smells nice. Smells just lovely. Smells like my makeup. Oh, it sure does? Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of this here, 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 this now. And we're going to put that here. So I want to tell you a little bit about my 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 friend Prudence here. Mm -hmm. She just got released out the insane asylum. She was, um, well, tell him. I can tell him. Mm -hmm. Well, hmm. what was happened was me and her got into a little argument. Mm -hmm. But, you know, friends skin, friends back, mm -hmm. um, friends forever. Mm hmm well, well, what happened was she did me dirty, so I had to pop her one of her tires. She did. Yeah. Then, well, she was I thought it was her car, but turns out it was not her car. No, it was the sheriff's car in our town. Mm. These potatoes are, are very undercooked. Mm. Hard as a rock. <laughs> Very Are you okay, darling? Oh. Uh oh. You okay? What happened? Oh, oh, you're eating hair. Oh, shit. That's all the way in the back of your throat. Get a paper towel. Is it stuck in your teeth? Oh, my gosh. That was all the way down your throat? Yes. A big ass, like. <gasps> A fur ball? That was scary. Dude, that's all. Oh, look at your eyes are watering. 
Look here, darling. What you're gonna need to do is put that, that nasty, nappy little head of yours behind your ears. You know what they say, the higher the hair, the closer to, to heaven. So just pin that nasty, natty mass up at the top. <laughs> just roll it in. Roll it in, girl, because we're ready to eat. We don't need you choking here. Okay. You ready, darling? Yeah. <laughs> the hell? The closer to heaven. <laughs> yes, darling. That's what they say. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit flat here. Let's get ready like we're going to Sunday church. And what we're going to do is take the hair and do this. Oh, yeah. I can't have this looking better than me. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, I've always been the pretty one ever since I was in high school. <laughs> People just said I was the cutest girl I they ever did see. Well, this tramp right here, nobody liked her. Nobody liked her in high school. Absolutely nobody. Well. I was your only friend, Clarence. And you know Prudence. My name is Prudence, not Clarence. Prudence. You know I was your only friend in high school, and don't you deny it. Don't get your big ass in the front. Don't. Oh, you know I was your only friend, Prudence, and don't you dare deny it. Yeah. I was the cheer on the cheer squad. My, uh, that's the time when the skirts used to touch the ground, not like these little prostitutes today. Right. That their skirts go above their knees. Right. What a disgrace. Anyway, let me tell you why my, my best friend ended up in the insane asylum for seniors. Well, we was at Sunday mass. They were passing around the little baskets. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, anywho, it came time to come around to her. What she did was dump the basket into her purse and she barfed in the basket. So what the pastor did, after that happened, they called the insane asylum and they locked her up for barfing in the basket and taking all the money for the church. Well, I had to. Your gambling addiction prudence is astronomical. Undeniably ungodly. And you call yourself a woman of the Lord. Unbelievable. Anyway, you want to tell them a little memory about us when we were ga young girls? Well, oh, this is my detention. Do you remember when you had that 58 Mustang? I, oh, darling, of course I remember it. <laughs> Boys were coming in and out of that car faster than you can say go. <laughs> Absolutely, well, I remember it. Wow. Well, well, whatever happened to that car? Well, my father took it back because he caught me with my, in my birthday suit, with three young guys in the back seat. Mm -hmm. So he took it away. Ungodly of you. <laughs> oh, oh, darling, you want to talk about ungodly? That hair and that makeup, ungodly. That face is only a face your mother could love. Well, y'all know what they say. What? The higher the hair, the closer the head. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm closer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Who y'all think is closer? Me? Ah. She a bald-headed, fraudulent witch. <laughs> she a fraudulent witch. She bald-headed underneath. Put your wig back on, Prudence. Me? You are a disgrace, uh -huh. woman. Uh -huh. A disgrace. Eat your food and shut up, will ya? Happy Halloween to ya. I hope y'all are enjoying meeting all of us here for the holiday season. We are only here temporarily visiting for the holidays. Huh? 
There she goes again. She's about to have one of her little fits. When her lips twist like that, she's about to have a fit. What's going on, Prudence? Talk to me, girl. Talk to, talk to me, darling. What's going on? I think she's about to start her period. Yeah, oh, 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 it's coming. It's coming. It's here. It's coming. Are you okay, baby? Darling, Bert, Bert. Oh, she got colitis. Bert, Bert. Oh, she's, she's, she's back. I'm back. Okay, she's back. Welcome back, darling. Back. Eat your food and, and just relax. Sip your tea. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is just heavenly. This Mexican food is very spicy. Very. Very spicy. Causing her to have the fits. Oh, yeah. So, spicy food does that to me. Uh-huh. Spicy food makes my stomach go crazy. Oh my God! You don't Spice say. Spicy food makes me go crazy, y'all. You don't say, darling. Oh my God! Oh Lord! We are gonna need to get her Ooh. some pets today, see, quick, mm -hmm. before she has another fit. Yeah, so many some prunes just after mm -hmm. this. Oh yeah. Speaking about prunes, it'll be over my dead body. Your lips look like prunes. Oh, really? Well, so does your vagina. Yeah. So get out while you can. Because you ain't going to come mess with Luann. <clears throat> no, you're not. It'll be over my dead body. So get out while you can. Get it? We love Loretta. We sure do. We sure do. We grew up on Loretta. We sure did. She was actually my my next door neighbor. Well, we were we were raised in Busher Holler, on a hill, in a cabin on a hill in Busher Holler. Yes, we were. Mother used to wash our clothes on a washboard every day. Yes. And read us the Bible by the coal lot. Oh yeah. My father was a coal miner. I know that. Yeah. I know that. Oh, my <laughs> Coal miners, yes. and they raised us on a coal miners' pay. Oh, yes, yes. In the summer, we didn't have no shoes to wear. Oh. But in the in the winter, we got a brand new <laughs> pair. <laughs> Y'all didn't know that. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, our bless our little old feet will stay warm during the winter times. But in the summer, we burn our little flat feet. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was like walking on tar. I needles. remember that. Oh, she yes. got stung by a bee. Oh yeah, that's the day that Mama gave me my coat of many colors that she made I for me. I that. Yeah, she made I you one too. That. Actually, this that is a coat one. of many colors. This is a coat of many colors. Look at this. that her Mama made for me. So I was kind of the friend that she hung out with when she had no one else to hang out with, right. and. She hung out with some girl named Jolene. Remember Jolene? Jolene with the auburn hair? Yeah. And the green eyes? Jolene, y'all. <laughs> Jolene? Jolene? She tried to take her, my man. But she didn't take him because she can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hear that, Jolene? Mm-hmm. Jolene. Well, I heard Jolene got locked up in prison, so. Oh. Just serving life. Mm-hmm. She's still alive. Still alive. Oh, wow. Well. She's about 10 years older than us. What do you need, darling? Um, well, maybe some hot sauce. I thought you said this Mexican food is hot enough already. Well, I love that spice. Okay. You want a little bit of spaskers? Oh, man, oh, man. I mean, a little bit of the uh, Mary Skira. Oh, man. Habanera. Habanera? Habanera. There you go. Bless your little heart. If you have a fit, I'm going to throw you with the dogs in the bag. Just a bunch of hocus pocus, Mary. Mary. Man, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be forgetting who I am some days. Oh. 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 Oh, you gonna burn your little old tush. That is so good. It is fantastic. 
Bless them little old hearts. Are you passing gas? No. Out your ass. No, why would I have to do that? Because why I heard I... a click. Oh. It went. Oh, I can control that. Huh. Well, did you make sure to wear your pants today and your poise pad? I did. I knew all the spots. Yeah, yeah, the last time you stand in my chair, I had to scrub, scrub, scrub. Remember that? Yeah, of course I remember it. I cleaned it. You can't real loud. I know. Sorry. Yeah, I think she's a little loud. My hearing aids sometimes don't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anywho, we were just all over the place, honey. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. Another glorious morning makes me sick. Medi. Oh, Wendy's eating show. What's that? Uh, some girl that eats hot Cheetos. Who's Wendy's eating show? She eats hot Cheetos, and I just got notification on my phone. Oh. Yes. Her name's La Gwendis. Eating show. Okay. You don't know nothing about her, but um, I do. I smell Charlie. <laughs> so, why did your mother name you Prudence, Prudence? Well, the street we grew on, uh -huh. who up on was called Prue. Uh huh. He are you? Okay. And uh, I was born on Independence Day. Uh mm -hmm. So she put two and two together. Prudence. Oh, Independence. Yes, Prudence. <laughs> okay. Yeah. the third. So my grandmother named me Lou and then her dog that passed away his name was Ann. Oh. So she combined the two names Lou Ann. I like that. Yeah. Y'all like that? Sentimental value Lou Ann. Do y'all like that? Put a number five in Put the a comments. a number five if, if you like, like our names. Uh -huh. Oh prudence. Luann. Put a number three for Prudence and put a number five for Luann. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. Yes. So, me and Prudence here have had a long history. We've been best girlfriends since 1821. And um, one time, she's always been jealous of me, the little tramp. Yes, she has. That's her pacemaker. Time to change the batteries. Anyway, she can't hear me right now. Her batteries are running low in her pacemaker in her ear. And um, the little tramp has always been jealous of me. One time, right, Luane? Uh, sorry, Prudence. We was playing hopscotch. And I was hopping on one leg, of course. Actually, both, because I've always been a chubby little gal. And I can't do Prudence. Prudence! Snap out of it, darling. Oh, I mean, Have you taken your meds today? I'm listening to oh, you. Okay. I'm Turn listening. up your pacemaker. I was just trying to visualize everything okay. I was saying. Okay. I was trying to pull back like a cinematic film in my head. Oh, okay. Like one of those silent films back in our times? Yeah. Okay. Go so, so anyway, darling, we was playing hopscotch. And I won. 
fair and square. She wanted to cheat and said that I cheated. So let we played rock, paper, scissors. Well, you know, when a time, it came time for her to do the rock, paper, scissors, she selected a rock, picked it up and chucked it right at my forehead. Yes, she did. Tell them. Well, that's why you wear your hair like that. I do. Have a big ass coming to the back of your head. I do, because of you. <laughs> so then, when it came time for me, I got scissors, and I cut off all her hair. I will never forgive you for that. I will never forgive <laughs> you for stealing my husband. And my dog, too. He ate your dog? What'd you say? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, what? He ate my dog. Oh, wow. My husband. He ate my, my dog, my uh, husband. Uh, uh, he ate my goldfish. Uh, I'm crying. Uh, wait, I think, what? You, I think um, you need to take those medications. I you think take so. take those medications. I do. Oh, wow. I do. I you need to take those medications. I said I do. I do. It's time. Eat the rest of your food, Louie. No, I lost my appetite. Louie makes me sick. You smell like mom's balls. You make me sick. You smell like cheese. I rub Cheetos on my bottom of my feet every night. It's a home remedy. That's a good exfoliant. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Oh yeah. Makes your brittle bones strong as iron. Uh huh. Rub a little bit of cheesy Cheeto dust on your armpits, under your breasts, That's and on the bottom of your feet. Yeah. In between each toe, yeah. grab the puffy Cheetos and go, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. 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 And then, and then let your feet out, and the dogs will kind of like come out like in between the toes. Yeah. It feels so good. It's like a massage at home. Oh, yeah. A chew down in our massage. Oh, it's for free. It's for free. And then you put on socks afterwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, a lovely smell. Oh, smell like Parmesan cheese on a hot sauce. I love that. Oh, fabulous. I love that. I do, too. Cool. Oh. oh my Anyways, gosh. we just took our ibuprofen, so it makes us a little kooky. Yeah. Yep, 800 milligrams. Yeah. So, for the arthritis, you know the arthritis? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, darling, I just want to say the beautiful chef, Mrs. Mama Appetite, made this delicious food. So, thank you to her. Bless her little old heart. And these tortillas oh, are just homemade and soft as butter. <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. The older we get, the more gassy we get. Sorry, that wasn't late, like. Absolutely not. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and eat our ambrosia salad before bed. It's five in the afternoon in the evening, so we're tired. Anyway, do you want to say a little something, Prudence, before we go? Well, I just want to thank y'all for watching us. If y'all made it to the end, put the granny emoji. No. Oh Lord, y'all done made her cry. Prudence, y'all made it to the end. Oh, good golly, good Molly. Please. Thank you so much. Oh, Lord. I can't do it. Oh, bless your little old heart. Y'all are so amazing. Oh, y'all just moved her. Y'all are so amazing. Y'all moved her to pieces. Y'all see what you did. <laughs> y'all moved her to pieces. Y'all moved her hair to pieces too. Yeah, and her drawers. Yeah. You wet yourself, didn't you? Thank y'all so much. You wet yourself, didn't you? Thank y'all for welcoming yeah, us. Yes, you did. I'm um, big, I appetite chain with up and arms. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, are you okay now, darling? I'm good. I'm okay. Good. Oh, that she needs herself a nap. Yeah. It's time for a nap. Anyway, thank you all so much. Please be sure to go follow her grandbaby, uh, her grandchildren, 
um, Stephen Tushi. I will put the link to his channel in the description box below. Thank y'all so much. We love you and toodles. Besitos. Besitos. Well, if you guys made it this far, I just want to say thank you so much for being here and being so supportive. We are literally stepping out of our comfort zone, out of our box to bring you guys some hilarious content. And um, we hope that you are having an amazing Halloween month. We want you guys to laugh, forget about your worries and have an amazing time here. Also the same on Steven's channel. Thank you all for watching, really. Yes. This is fun. Absolutely. If you guys don't take it seriously, we're just having fun. It's, you know, just be free. It's the end of the year, holiday season's around, you know? Exactly. So, We've yeah. gone through so much this past year and a half yep. and, um, you know, just have fun with it. Happy Halloween. We love you and stay tuned because we got many more amazing, funny videos to come. Bye. It came time to come around to her. What she did. <laughs> what she did was... <laughs> Get through this. Okay. <laughs> what she did was dump the basket into her purse. <laughs> and she and she <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay. <laughs> and she barfed in the basket. So what the bastard did after that happened. They called the insane asylum and they locked her up for barfing in the basket and taking all the money for the church. Well, I had to. Oh, yeah. Very ladylike. Oh, she do that. She do that. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker. This this wig is itchy. Sorry, baby. Let me fix my wig. Well, I swallowed half this wig. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did, your furball. You did. You like a kitty cat. Half of it was down my throat, and half of it was still on my head. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ooh, Are you full? No. I'm sure you can eat the rest of that bowl. I'm sure that you can eat the rest of that hair right there on your plate. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> see that. Look at that. You just love eating that hair, don't you? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to need you to focus, Prudence. Focus. Yes, ma'am.